it's people um, saying that this place is a brothel. Yeah, that was the biggest challenge because it gave me the wrong attention, even with the law. What is a spa? Spas and vinyozis are a niche market that most young Kenyans have noticed and are minting money from. My name is Frida Mwende, but mostly people know me as Mwende Frey. And I am the owner of Man's Chamber Baba Shop. So basically, I'm going to make a spa and spa. So my work is generally around making men happy. Even with controversy on social media about the man's chamber, this business is a product of the community. A man's chamber is a product of the local community, first of all, because um, when I started, I didn't have all that capital. The building, it was need tiles, it was need dirisha, as in upper ukingia, you have to do everything for the for the room you are taking. So I went to the local hardware Zappa. They loaned me tiles. They loaned me uh, window materials. They loaned me paint. They loaned me um, MDF boards. They were just coming together to help me. The different shops, uh, what were welding. I love Sasa for the services. Um, what when you are meeting in a building, the, those guys are the ones who who helped me with Man's Chamber because I talked to them and they agreed to do the services for me. Ni walipe pole pole. Actually, some of them ni memaliza kualipa at the end of last year. So, Man's Chamber is just a, a community effort. As a business person, you don't need that much experience necessarily in a certain field to start a business in it. No, 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 no. I did not have experience na kinyozi at all. Nilikuwa tu ni vitu nikuwa nimefanya ilikuwa online writing na kuza beauty products, but sikuwa ikuwa na kinyozi before. So it was just, I've been learning through the business as it progresses. Her son motivated her to begin a business that makes men feel relaxed. Um, I have a little boy, so that kagai nikuwa napenda kumpampa sana at home, kumpia massage and stuff. And then I thought um, when he grows up, na venya kuja kwa normalized, like men getting pampered and spoiled. So what will happen? Kama atakuwa na girlfriend, atakuwa na tengenezi wa wapi. So I figured out wacha nianzishe uh, a baba shop, maybe ita grow, na atakuwa na tengenezi wa hapa. <laughs> that was the original plan. It's crazy, but that was the original plan. Alafu, um, I, I, I also need, I also use this kinyozi as my mentor breather, because I had, I had depression for some time. So I used business to to come out of the depression. Wende has built an environment that makes men feel happy, loved, and relaxed while making money at it. Sisi, we usually open at 9 a.m., but sometimes we go as far as 11, 30, 12 p.m. Because their yeah, clients, you know, if, um, most men wana kwanga free for services kwanzia the afternoon, kwanzia one. So, because we cannot fit all of them by six, we find ourselves working towards the wee hours of the night and we have to wake up early the next day. So, the days and is not very busy. You can say it's the weekends, definitely. Monday is busy. Um, on Tuesday, kuna kwanga a bit relaxed. Siju waze wanaindanga happy Tuesday, honestly. Afu, Wednesday, pia wako, th Thursday, it's fair, but Fridays to Sundays, oh, and Monday, it's very busy. Leaving work tired or from a safari? You will need a massage. It gets offered as a package if you are willing to pay for that service. Men are very tired people. Muna choka sana. So the massage, the massage is a very popular service. Mm. Uh, also the body scrub because of the hot water. It's relaxing. So wanna, they like that too. Afu squeezy. Men pia like pedicure. I think because of kusimama sana. Some of them. Like men when you wana fanyanga kazi. Enye ina require a lot of footwork. They prefer pedicures a lot more than massage. So I think it depends on the profession of the guy and the environment. Mwende has failed from a couple of businesses. This did not stop her. Instead, 
She learned a couple of lessons that have contributed to her business's success. It's people um, saying that this place is a brothel. Yeah, that was the biggest challenge because it gave me the wrong attention, even with the law for some time. Yeah, I I had to prove that Twitter really put the weight of proving my innocence as in which is wrong. And I had to do that for months and months and months. Yes. Yeah. And another challenge, of course, is expansion. Because the clients come, they say we want these. I, I'm so grateful that by they having men, male clients is so different from having female clients. I've sold beauty products to women. And I can say men are, men are very understanding and one attacker could contribute to the growth. So they come, they say, as soon as a kayapa, we can put these seats here, you can put this kind of light here, you know, suggestions. Now you need pressure, especially come on a pesa. They they have to broaden their skills. They was the kaituna skill in Yalisomea Shule. They must be ready to embrace our different technical skills and they must be ready to follow their passion. And most of all, they have to make wise career choices without mixing friends, love, relationships. They must be ready to put their, their romances aside, their friendships aside for the sake of their career. Not like compromising those things, but they don't, they don't have to mix. And when they leave the business and they go home to their men, they must remember both are, they have left their bossing at, at work and at home they are mothers, they are wives, they are girlfriends, so that they, they are different lives don't collide.